So, make that six losses in a row for the Florida Panthers yet to win in 2019 as the road trip continues and the losing streak continues. Um, first off, I want to say thanks for everyone that was reaching out and you know, concerned. Uh, in the last video, uh, again, it's just this whole liquidation thing at the Quincy Lowe's has just been absolutely mentally and drained. Just drain. And it's finally over. Yesterday was the last day. So all done. I'm going to my new store today. I'm actually working today, 9 to 6. So it's good to get back into the rhythm of things. So um, as for that hot sauce thing, I'm going to try and figure that out. Hopefully they'll see that they messed up and send me a new one uh, as soon as possible, which would be really good. But let's get this this game. It wasn't bad per se, Longo actually looked really good up until the third period. Um, Vancouver did get a goal early in uh, in that second period, but in the third, Petrano tied it to make it 1-1. One -one. But then, unfortunately, we collapsed in on ourselves as Vancouver ended up scoring to make it 2-1. to one. Then they got two empty net goals, and then they ended up getting a goal with 10.8 seconds left, which ended up leading to a huge... Uh, fight Cabranson obviously getting in Cabranson did end up fighting um, in this one against the Panthers so um, just really depressing though to see this team just continue to not excel to the level that we should be you can tell they have totally given up you know they don't it just you can't you can just see it you know they're, they're not supporting the coach and again I, I just want to talk happy stuff about the Panthers, but, but just are unable to. Is now we're tw what, twelve points out of a playoff spot. Twelve points, and we're more than halfway through the season. Like it's we we need a miracle. We need an absolute miracle, and I don't think that that miracle is going to happen. Good news though is Bukestad was back. I thought he looked really good. Um, he got absolutely robbed on a play. He blocked a few shots. So um, good to see him back in the lineup. Um, but again, fortunately, it wasn't good enough. So we have a massive, massive game on Tuesday against the Montreal Canadiens. That is, if we don't win that game, then we're, we're done. The Montreal currently, I believe, as of last night, they are sitting out of a playoff position. They are out of playoff position as of right now. So... Um, no, actually, they are in a playoff position. It's Buffalo that's actually out of the playoff position. Buffalo is out of the playoff position, which is kind of crazy how they were in first and now have fallen down to ninth as they've just lost. So, again, anything can happen, we can get a, we're ten, if we can get a 10-game winning streak like they did, we could be in a playoff position. We can be talking about playoffs, but we need a massive, massive winning streak to get there. And just the way this team is, I don't see that happening. So I'm going to close myself, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Again, I think I'm now at a schedule where I don't have to be at work at 6. So there could be changing of when the videos come out. But then I'm also going to be closing. So things will change. i got to find out today where I'm going to be at. Supposedly I'm in appliances, but we'll see where that is, that what happens. So... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.